Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode will be walking through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In this episode, we're going to be discussing business plans and if you need one for your new business. One of the most asked questions by folks who are planning to start a small business is, do I need a business plan? The second most asked question, what is a business plan and what goes in it? Do you need a business plan? Yes, but maybe for a different reason than you think you normally need a business plan. And I like to think of them as success blueprints because honestly, your business plan is all about making sure that you have a plan for your business, hence business plan. Now keep in mind, a business plan is usually used when seeking finance for a business. Banks, lenders, and small business associations, or anyone who wants to invest in your business is typically going to know how they're going to get their money back. And since you don't have any sales currently, they want to know the plan and the estimates of how you will get there. If you are purchasing a franchise or renting a brick and mortar location, you will probably also be asked to provide a business plan as well. These folks will want to know all about your new business, so they are looking for things like your vision, your mission, your goals for the company, your target customer, an operating plan, financial needs, expenses, just to name a few of the things. Now, I know what many of you are thinking right now. Tammy, I don't plan to take out a loan. I don't plan to buy a franchise, nor do I plan to rent space. So why do I need a business plan? Well, technically, you don't. However, the exercise of creating one will help you put all that research you did earlier together in a way that creates a sales plan, a marketing plan, and help you quantify the sales and profits that you expect in the next few years. Think of it more as that success blueprint I mentioned earlier, a roadmap, if you will. Now, before I talk further about a success blueprint version of a business plan, let's discuss the old fashioned business plan first. If your new business is going to need some serious cash to get off the ground, think restaurant, pizza place, laundromat, etc., then you are probably going to be looking at putting together a business plan to raise the funds that you're going to need to start your business. Banks and lenders will want to know all about your business, all about you and your background, and what you plan to do with the money and how you plan to pay it back in the future. And then they want to know when are they going to start getting their money. When I bought my ice cream shop, I paid cash for it, but I did need a business plan for both the franchise and the landlord of my location. In a typical business plan, you have to show them your mission and your vision. You will need to detail out how much money you need and how you plan to spend it. They will want to know what to expect in sales over the next 12 to 24 months, but they also want to know what your projected costs and your expenses are going to be. A business plan is going to be a lot of work, a lot of guessing at numbers that you just don't know. You have to understand, they want to know when you expect to be profitable and how you will pay them back. They want to know how you plan to create the sales, who your ideal customers, and how you plan to market to them. They're going to get all up in your business. Now, you might start to notice a theme. Most of these items that we have been discussing in our previous episodes have really been helping you set yourself up for this particular business plan. In future episodes, we're going to discuss more business numbers and marketing, so we're going to round it all off. But much of your business plan is going to be built using the research that we discussed earlier. But here's where many small businesses mess up. They assume that since they don't plan to seek financing, they don't need to do this exercise at all. And this is incorrect. Yes, you do not need an official stiff business plan, but you should capture each and every item that a business plan discusses in a more informal way. It is much more important that you know your mission and your vision. You still need to know that. You need to know how much money you plan to make, how much that equipment's going to cost, and what is it that you are going to need. You still need to know who your ideal customers and how you plan to reach them. It is critical that you know your business numbers and what you plan to do each month in sales when it comes to sales, costs, expenses, and how much money you plan to make. You can call it a business plan or you can call it a success blueprint. I don't care if you write it on a notepad or you map it all out in some fancy thing online. The key is that you need to take the information and put together a plan for your business. All the notes you have been taking are there for you to help formulate a plan. This way you can take the right actions to help ensure that you have a quicker path to success and profits. Think of your success blueprint and your business plan as roadmaps to go from concept to open for business. The question becomes, what's right for your small business, a business plan or a success blueprint? Which is the right one for you in your small business? 
If you are starting a typical one or two person business, like a handyman, dog groomer, pool cleaner, maid service, odds are you do not need to do a full on business plan, but a success blueprint will help get you up and going. However, if you are opening up or purchasing the franchise like we talked about, and you're going to need to seek out financing, then you definitely know you need a business plan. Remember, a lot of folks start new businesses each and every day. The successful ones take the time to research the business they are planning to jump into and then formulate a plan for what that business is going to do in its first year. Whether it's an official business plan or a success blueprint, the important thing is to capture all the information and what you plan to do with it. Trust me, the most successful people out the shoot have formulated a plan in some way, shape, or form. Now, if you have to put together a business plan, there are all kinds of resources that are out there for you to be able to create business plans online. I'll put a couple of them in the show notes. And for those of you that just need a success blueprint, I'll create a link of a PDF version that you can use if you want also in the show notes. It will have all the questions you need in order to start sparking your mind. Just remember, it's just a rough thing to help you out. Dive in as deep as you want to dive in. The main goal is that it helps you capture your ideas from your research. This way you can make sure that you do something with it. Do you have to have a business plan or success blueprint? No. Can you still be successful? Yes. Are you going to forget some of the great ideas and thoughts that you had? Probably. The main thing that this thing can do is live on as a document that you can refer to on and off to just remind yourself of some of those great things once you start getting knee deep into the business. Remember, the entire point of this exercise is to capture all the stuff swirling around in your head and to put pen to paper to understand your business numbers so you have a target of what it is you plan to hit. So please take the time, put together either a business plan or a success blueprint. My main mission here is that you take the information and you set yourself out a roadmap for the next year. Now, in our next episode, we're going to be discussing whether you need an LLC or just doing business as with a sole proprietorship. Don't forget to download all the previous episodes and don't forget to head on over to the Bad As Business Owner podcast and YouTube channel for even more information on helping you grow your business. I'll see you on the next episode.